this was a hobby. It started in 1960. I was approached back in the 75. And, uh, it's kind of blossomed since then. <laughs> it's a misnomer to call a police dog a working dog. They love what they do. They don't want to retire. They live to do this work. Run! 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 A police dog is used to find things or people. Guns, knives, pieces of evidence have been left at crime scene. We do everything that a police dog does. We do normal patrol training, explosives training, narcotics. We do some search and rescue. Any breed can do it, but it's a, it's a behavior, a drive, that they really want to retrieve, they want to chase things obsessively. You're there getting your ass kicked for a little chicken chip bite. We get to work every time we do this, huh? Yeah. The dogs are easiest. It's the people that are hard. The hardest part for us is placing the right handler with the right dog, making sure we have good chemistry between them. That really becomes the hardest thing to do. The handler is 70-80% of the team. He obviously provides the intellect and the direction. The dogs are not cruise missiles, they're just the hubs. Hey, quiet! Nothing you're saying means anything anyway. You pissed him off. If the dog is looking at you and barking, that's when you reward him. You don't reward him when he's looking away. You don't reward him when he's quiet. You reward him when he's looking right at you and barking. Look at me. Look at the man. Oh, shit. This dog's gotten away with being dirty on the search. So now when the pressure's put on him, there's no time frame. He wants to bark a couple of times and he's losing interest. He's looking around. But you see the way he fights. This is not a lack of drive. This is not, I'm not strong enough to do it. It's like I haven't been conditioned to do it properly. So how do we condition this? Good adjective. Start parking, just tell him to shut up. This dog, he's a retired cop. He's worked for China Airlines and he does our bomb training for us now. Well, our dogs are trained to put their nose on the odor and then focus right on it. So you know exactly where to look. He doesn't know if he's looking for something that's going to be dangerous or he could be trained to look for Hershey bars. But that odor, you form an association with the dog. If you find this odor, then I'm going to reward you. But there's a big mental strain on the dog to deal with something like this. And if they deal with it like every dog you've seen so far, then our program is successful. We're seeing what we want to see. And this is my hobby. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason to retire because this is what I would do if I retire. Yeah, sometimes people have as much fun as we have, and it's a good day.